The harsh reality is that keeping money is more difficult than making it. It's not rare to see people who gain wealth through inheritance, the lottery, or other means and then lose it all in a brief span of time. For many, many people, money is a very sensitive matter. This topic can be so complicated that rather than managing their money, people would avoid it entirely and focus solely on earning and spending it. In simpler terms, there are two kinds of people, those who accumulate wealth and those who end up losing it. Hence, in today's video, we will be talking about the top 10 financial mistakes you must avoid. So if you're new here on Usable Wisdom, then make sure to click the subscribe button for more content that will surely kickstart your pursuit of great riches. Number 1. Spending on drugs or cigarettes Doing a drug or two in college may have seemed harmless at the time, but the truth is that long-term use can be harmful to both your health and your wallet. Calculating how much drug and cigarette users spend in a week or a year reveals that many of them are impeding their ability to achieve financial freedom. Number 2. Spending more than you make This can be very appealing, especially as a young adult. When you make a consistent income for the first time in your life, buying a new car, moving into a new house, and flying first class are all enticing things to do. But the concern is that you end up living paycheck to paycheck and can't cover these costs. But even so, the majority believe that once they are paid, they should reward themselves. Alternatively, the cash inflow should be used to extend your wealth, make investments, and acquire assets. The desire to impress others is probably the most common reason for people to spend beyond their means. They spend because they have low self-esteem, and in the absence of these material goods, they believe they are inadequate in contrast to others. But this is faulty logic. Many of us, as Dave Ramsey puts it, buy things we don't need with money we don't have to impress people we don't like. You'll be able to grow financially when you understand to exercise self-control and let go of the desire to impress others. Number 3. Not Investing Wisely Several individuals invest their money into things based on suggestions from friends, or a strong conviction that the prices of a popular stock will continue to rise. Real estate is a type of asset that almost everyone seems to be interested in these days. Many people believe that if they own an investment property, they will be financially secure. They believe that monthly rent payments will begin to arrive and that their income will increase exponentially. Regrettably, this is not always the situation. Tenants may fail to make payments, appliances may break, or the value of your property may decrease. There is risk involved in all types of investments. You must ensure that your assets generate a consistent stream of income and learn everything there is to know about a specific market or product before investing your hard-earned money. In short, do proper background research on whatever you want to get into, not just because your friends are making money from it or a sales agent told you about the great benefits it has to offer. Number 4. Following Get-Rich-Quick Schemes one of the most certain ways to lose money is to participate in get-rich-quick schemes. Quick money, as the adage goes, brings quick problems. Ponzi schemes, pyramid schemes, and make-money-overnight offers are all examples of get-rich-quick schemes and are all designed to enrich the scheme's creator by stealing your hard-earned money. If you're considering new business ventures and come across opportunities that guarantee high returns with little risk, proceed with caution. Consider this, if it takes 20 years in a career to make $200,000 and a new venture claims that you can generate that sum of money in a year, if it were legal, wouldn't everyone else be doing it? In summary, if you want to make money quickly, always use your sound judgment before signing on the dotted line. Number 5. Not having an emergency fund Let's confront the truth. Life isn't always fair. And there are times when you need money to get out of a jam. For example, your car could break down unexpectedly, you could lose your job, or your washer could fail. 
Unfortunately, almost everything alive costs money, which is why failing to save for an emergency fund is a costly financial mistake. Saving these funds for these kinds of situations could be simple. What you must do is set up a 10% auto deduction from your salary, and a portion of your paycheck will be deposited into an emergency savings account. But how do you know when you've saved enough? Most financial experts advise you to save six months worth of living expenses. However, if you want to be extra cautious, one year's worth is an ideal goal to set. Number six, having just one source of income. Having a single source of income is a way of life for the vast majority of people. And most of the time, this income is in the form of a salary. Admittedly, jobs are not as safe as many people believe. When it comes to your financial inflow, you should consider yourself as a tree. Do trees only produce fruit from one branch? The simple answer is no. They have various branches that produce flowers and fruit, and you should too. You should continue to create and learn new ways to make your money work for you. This is not only prudent, but also a reliable method of aiding you to sleep. Number seven, relying heavily on credit cards. Credit cards can be a convenient way for many people to make payments, but for many, they can be a one-way ticket to death. Although credit cards are necessary for some business applications, relying on them excessively can lead to financial ruin. Credit card use encourages impulse purchases. It gives you the impression that you can afford just about anything with a simple swipe. So if you find yourself spending too much money on credit, make it a habit to pay in cash instead. When you pay with cash, you are physically handing over money and seeing the depletion in your wallet makes you feel the financial impact of the purchase much more than when you pay with credit. Number eight, being scared to take financial risks. The saying goes, no pain, no gain. In order to make money, you must take risks. Meanwhile, the risks you take must be calculated. For example, putting money in an index fund is riskier than putting it in a savings account. And yet, your money will never grow by earning the typical 0.09% interest that a savings account pays. Investing in an index fund, for example, which mirrors the movements of the entire stock market, has historically provided annual returns of 7%, which is a calculated risk that, in my viewpoint, is worth taking. Number nine, saving rather than investing. Money kept in a bank loses value over time due to inflation. Money, on the other hand, grows when invested wisely. It's as simple as that. I mentioned in mistake number eight that being afraid to take financial risks is a mistake. People who are afraid to take risks save all of their money and allow it to deteriorate over time. The only money you should save in a savings account is for living expenses and a cash emergency fund. In short, you must save to invest rather than save for the sake of saving. Number 10, having only one bank account. Holding only one bank account is dangerous for several reasons. For starters, working with a single bank account requires keeping all of your emergency, bill, and college savings in one place. Then, if you splurge and spend this money, you put yourself at great risk. Hence, you must have at least three bank accounts. One for emergency funds in case something goes wrong. Another for your daily bills. And the final account, which can be referred to as a play account is where the money for entertainment or vacation goes. If you wanna take things a step further, you can create an untouchable account, which can be used as a savings account, wherein paycheck deductions are directed every month, automating your savings procedures and guaranteeing your wealth keeps growing in the long run. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something useful today. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be updated whenever we upload new videos. Till the next one, goodbye.